Greetings. We're um, back here in Wyusing, Pennsylvania. Obviously in my studio. We're no longer in Italy or Rome, but we're uh, continuing, um, or I am continuing, two of the paintings that I started there. Um, as I said in the uh, those initial uh, videos, I get them started here, or get them started there, get them blocked in, get all the compositional things in place, and the quality of light and atmosphere and all the essentials um, of working directly from life, uh, of capturing the essence of the scene and uh, blocking in the initial composition. Uh, but now that I'm back here in the studio, I'm going to um, uh, work on the details and I've done a significant amount on this painting, but um, uh, oddly enough it doesn't have, I don't have the photographs. Um, there's something wrong with my computer and I'm not able to get the uh, images out. So uh, basically I'm just continuing uh, improvising and doing it from memory. Uh, I had a, a good start here so I, and I painted here on several other uh, occasions so I know what the uh, scene uh, uh, looks like. So uh, um, the clouds, uh, as I said in the initial video, were uh, more or less an invention of what I call a caprice and, um, and so I continue to uh, embellish them or improvise on the clouds. Uh, but the uh, sun was going down just as I got there, and I'm continuing with that. And uh, I, so I don't have any of the details of the um, of the city back here, so I'm just making up that. But I thought I would just continue to paint for a few minutes on one thing that I'm inventing. The clouds have this nice perspective going down into a space here, you know, which I've observed many times. Um, so the challenge is to get the uh, these the river, the Tiber River here, the St. Peter's in the background, uh, to somewhat match up with the, uh, the sky. Uh, the thing about water is that it usually uh, uh, has ripples in it, so especially in this case where it was moving uh, fast, uh, so it doesn't have to be like a mirror in this instance, but uh, I did want to get it uh, a little bit uh, darker, so I'm just using kind of a, a neutral uh, uh, gray here on this uh, ancient river, the Tiber or the Teveri, as it's called there. It sounds like a verb, Teveri. I thought it was the be the infinitive of a of, a, of some kind of verb, <laughs> but I think it's in base in old Latin. It just means uh, the river, so it's called uh, the river. It's the only, only one. Um, I can leave some of this yellow in over here because uh, there's probably some ambient light here. And then the next thing I'm going to uh, endeavor to do is uh, there's that uh, this light area at the uh, horizon there that I'll attempt to uh, capture. Uh, as well. This is the uh, reflection of Saint, the dome here of St. Peter's in the background. Okay, I got that in kind of uh, like I wanted, um, um, suggesting the, uh, the current here, the current kind of comes down and goes through this, uh, this bridge with, uh, which is Santa Emanuele. Okay, now I want to um, uh, get this uh, horizon in here, so I'm going to restate it up here in the uh, sky. And it often does happen this way, so I'm not, it's based on other observations. But my main thing right now was to uh, to uh, duplicate this uh, uh, light area here somewhat. Not duplicate it, but suggest uh, somewhat of that uh, reflection there. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, this white that I'm using, I'm, I'm toning it down with other colors, but it's a uh, fast drying white, and that's really uh, important consideration for painting, whether you want your paint to be a fast drying or slow drying. There's advantage, advantages to each. Uh, one is that with the fast drying you can build up uh, paint
paint quicker uh, the advantage with a slow one is you can go back in and soften edges and as I say the soft or the slow drying is more like the method of Leonardo where there's no visible brush strokes like if you think of the Mona Lisa there's no brush strokes but this one is uh, more to the impressionist or like Rembrandt okay that's basically all I wanted to do I'm going to switch over here though to this um, this is one of those um, serendipitous effects over here with the uh, light catching